Welcome to Muscle Gauge Nutrition. You can visit us at mgnstore.com or on Facebook at www.facebook.com backslash muscle gauge nutrition. Today we'll be going over proper technique and form for the bench press. Um, first thing you want to take a look at is your feet placement. Notice how his feet are flat on the ground. It's very important that you keep a flat foot while you're benching. You don't want to get up on your toes or let your um, feet slide outwards. Also, you don't want to keep them pigeon toed while you're lifting. Um, you want to keep a nice flat foot to give you more power and push as you lift. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about your back placement. Notice how as Osaka lays down, it has a nice straight flat back. Um, it's important while you're benching that you don't want to get too much of an arch in your back. That can lead to um, lower back injury while you're lifting. You want to try to keep your back fairly even on the bench as you lift and press through your legs and your hips to gain more power. Moving on, we're going to talk a little bit about Osagi's hand placement on the bench. On most bars, most Olympic size bar, you have this ring here. Um, it's important to gauge your hand placement. You don't want to be too close in. You use more of a triceps when your hands are too close in. And the farther out you are, you put a lot of strain on your shoulders. For me, in this case, it is about pinky on the line, which the exact area you want to be is about 90 degrees as you come down to your chest. There are two different types of grip. The ones for beginners are often wrapped around the bar, and the one for advanced is with your thumb locked in. With the advanced placement, you'll often get more strength through your hands, wrists, forearms, and through your chest. One thing to remember when benching is you want to keep your back flat, your butt on the bar, on the on the bench. You do not want to arch up. As Justin stated, you will have extra stress through your system under the bar. Breathing is a big technique. You want to get a lot of oxygen oxygen into your system. You do not want to breathe in as you're pushing. You want to breathe out as you're pushing in a slow, consistent breath. And as you come down, inhale. I will now demonstrate. Before you start, you want to get a nice big chest full of air. Up. Stabilize the bar. And as you come down, breathe in. Now you will notice with that rep, as you come down, you want bar placement to be right at your nipple or just below your nipple. If you're too high, you put a lot of stress on your shoulders. If you're too low, you put a lot of stress on your shoulders and triceps. I'll now demonstrate that again. Bar placement, advanced hand lock, up, stabilize the bar, come down. That is your proper technique for the bench press.